He makes his heart very narrow. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us an example of how narrow his heart would be. He says, فَأَنَّمَا يَصَّعَّدُ فِي السَّمَاءِ As if this person is going up towards the sky. For those whose heart is being opened, for those who have hidayah, their heart has been opened to accept Islam. For those who have been misguided, their hearts are locked. They cannot accept the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the sign of that is, فَأَنَّمَا يَصْعَدُ فِي السَّمَاءِ If the hearts are lost, then the person's heart is very narrow. What does this narrow mean? There is a hadith that will explain this. And inshallah, I will narrate that hadith in a moment. But let us first thing look at this example that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is presenting to us of those whose hearts are closed. فَأَنَّمَا يَصَعَّدُ فِي السَّمَاءِ This person is just like a person who is going up in the sky. What happens when a person is going up towards the sky? The first thing that will happen to this person is, gradually this person will start losing oxygen. Because of the loss of the oxygen, he will have problem breathing. When a person starts having problem breathing, we think that this person is having a heart attack. This person is having a problem with his heart. The heart is not functioning properly. When we go to the hospital, you see people on life support. What does it do? It keeps on pumping air into their chest. So that it keeps on doing the work what a normal person would do by breathing. When the person would breathe then, the blood will keep on circulating in the body. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this person who is turning away from the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that person's heart becomes narrow. As narrow as a person who's going up towards the sky, which means a person who's having a heart attack. Whenever he looks towards his heart, he has some pain in his heart. He or she is not satisfied with the life. That person never feels peace of mind. 
only feel that is missing what she's supposed to have in his or her life. People work for 60, 70 years. They really work themselves out. Initially, a couple of jobs. And then, finally, maintaining what they have. And they work themselves out after retirement. These people were sorry for whatever they have done in the past and with the, whatever they have done with their life. They are not satisfied. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, this is what happens to those who have kept their hearts closed from accepting the instructions given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Look at another ayah of Quran and Kareem when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about opening the heart. He says, أَفَلَا يَتَدَبَّرُونَ الْقُرْآنَ أَمْ عَلَىٰ قُلُوبٍ أَقْفَالُهَا Don't they ponder into the words of Allah, into the book of Allah, or are their hearts lost? This is why they are not able to understand it. Which means a person who does not open his heart for the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, does not try to understand the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is not accepting the message given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his book, that person's heart is lost. Don't they ponder into the words of Allah, into the book of Allah, am ala qulubin aqfaluha, or their hearts are lost? To open the heart, we need to use the key that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us in the form of Al-Quran al karim the more we stay away from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the narrow the heart will start getting. We can be believers, but the key is to use the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As the woman will start going away from the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the heart that will start getting lost. When the hearts are lost, then the deen of Allah does not get into the heart. So when you read Allah, أَنْ يَهْدِيَ يَشْرَحْ فَضْرَهُ لِلْإِسْلَامِ Whoever is guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah opens up that person's chest, his heart, for Islam. How important it is to have our hearts open for Islam? If a person would think, that okay, I know my heart is closed and I, I don't really understand the book of Allah, I don't go back to the book of Allah, I don't recite it, I don't understand it. But what is it that I'm losing by having my heart closed? I'm making so much, I'm having a good life, I'm satisfied with everything that I'm earning here, I'm living a peaceful life with my family. Look at the du'a of Sayyidina Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. When he said praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the first thing he asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was, Rabbi shrahni sabri. Ya Allah, open my heart. <coughs> and then he asked the rest of the things, when silly amri wahlu of the sammi But the first thing is, Rabbi shrahni sabri. At what time did he make the sound? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked Musa alayhi salatu wa salam to go to Egypt and convey the message of Allah to Fir'aun and to, to the rest of the people of Egypt. With that difficult task, the task that Musa alayhi salatu wa salam was given, the first thing he feels he needs, this is the first thing he realizes that I need for fulfilling this task. And that is, Rabbi Shrahmi Sabri. Ya Allah, you have to open, Ya Allah, open my chest so that I can do the work that you are assigning to me. Otherwise, I won't be able to do this work. Then, go through the ayahs of the Quran Kareem to see another place in Quran where Allah talks about opening the heart for the deen of Allah. Where does that say? What ayah is talk, uh, we'll talk about it? It's a well-known ayah in a well-known situation. 
ألم نشرح لك صدرك؟ لا والله سبحانه وتعالى اشتركت محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. Did not we open your chest? Did not we open your heart? ألم نشرح لك صدرك؟ What was the result of that? When the heart was open to accept the deen, the deen of Allah and to understand the deen of Allah, what was the result of it? وَوَضَعْنَا عَنْكَ وِزْرَكَ All of your burden was taken away from you. All of the responsibility that Rasulullah was given, he did not feel the burden of it. He was able to fulfill it, to do whatever he was asked to do by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because Alam Nishrah like a Surah, we have opened your chest to accept what we are offering to you. When this ayah was revealed, Telling Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that we have opened your chest for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Of course, Sahaba al-Wallahi alayhi wa sallam, they wanted to follow the steps of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and everything they would do. So now they are looking forward to have the same achievement, to do the same thing that will open their chest for Islam also. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the ayah فَمَنْ يُرِذُ اللَّهُ أَنْ يَهْدِيَهُ نِشْرَحْ فَضْرَهُ لِلْإِسْلَامِ Whenever Allah wants to guide someone, He opens His chest for Islam. Now, Sahaba is one Allah alayhi wa ta'ala, of course, they realized that they came from Jahiliya into Islam. And they took the shahada. They are doing their best to follow Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This would have been enough for them to satisfy themselves and say, Allah saying, when Allah wants to guide someone, He opens His chest for Islam, and we accepted Islam, simply means we are on the right track, and our hearts have been opened by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we are on the right track. But Sahaba al-Wala they wanted to confirm it. They wanted to make sure that they see their hearts being opened. It's not just knowing. They want to see it. How would they see it? After the ayah was revealed, they went to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They said, Ya Rasulullah, we have heard this ayah, فَمَنْ يُرِذِ اللَّهُ وَيَهْدِيَهُ يَشْرَحْ فَضْرَهُ لِلْإِسْلَامِ 